So here is day two of some more Rhode Island fishing. Um, this was after the mega pool trips. I decided to hop on the wise Kraken Stella C the next day. And uh, yeah, you'll see John, aka Sensei, joining me um, for a second day of fishing. You might also recognize Joseph. He's been on my fluke trip uh, that I put out there in June. So yeah, this is a solid trip. Uh, a really full boat of anglers that know what they're doing. Um, so yeah, tune in, see how we do. And uh, we got two pools going, a $10 and a $20. So stay tuned. Switch hands on the jig don't work, huh? Little fish. <laughs> Ended up not being a little fish. <laughs> you already know. Did I get him? Where is he at? <laughs> there we go. As soon as I put the net down. Right, he dipped. Keep up. Sorry. Okay. You okay? Oh, it wouldn't hurt if it wasn't cold. Oh. <laughs> cold ear. It didn't hit that hard. Okay, it just okay. Like, <laughs> On the I'll purple jig. Yes, my purple jig is working. <laughs> Good old Sabo jig. Is that a Sabo jig? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta I might, I might text him basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like, Thank is he coming to back? All right, so real quick, I just want to kind of show how I tend to bait uh, the jig with the stinger hook. I'm really starting to like it. Honestly, it gives me like jig snafu. Um, since I'm going for bigger fish, I'm taking nice little medallions of white crab and putting whole crab on both the jig and on the hook. So uh, it does yield me bites. Works for me. That's skill that you felt that. Listen, <laughs> 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 so that's a really good ride. <laughs> or you were just lucky. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> So at this point, I'm moving over to all the people. I got my shoes. That's about every 10 pounds. Very nice. <laughs> yep. I'm moving. I just, I'm going to go back and get my bucket in a minute. But since I had a couple little bites. Yeah, the front was rough. Couple little bites. Let me check it out. Really, I came up here to get that seven pounder. 
seven pounder on camera. <laughs> that, I'm saying I came up here to get that on camera because uh, they said it was a 10 pounder in the back. Yeah, it looks like you know, it had the size. Yeah, it has length, it's another girth. Close enough on the measure. I know. I'm like so much more comfortable in the back. Huh? Well. Wow. Yeah. That's my 10 pound test. Uh, I did not have enough leader. Yep. Yep. Took me in. Yeah. All right, BRB. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Nice fish. Get hit, get in. I dropped another one. Sucking a day. This is the keeper. Yep, you brought me luck. Thanks, Sensei. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's digging. She's a digger. Take one more time. Thank you. Nice. Good fish. Fish. That would take a long pause of catching a fish. Yeah, that was my best of the day. A solid four-ish. Four Probably five. Are right, you going back? <laughs> Let's see that. I'm sure he stole some crap from me before. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. What, you're all set? Wow. She's like my favorite picture of all time. She's going to choke on what she has in her mouth. Wow. Alright, so what just happened was Sam handed me a sandwich, man. I just put it in my mouth. I got a bite. That's a short, but I think I had a second short on. Um, mm -hmm. And then it popped off like 10, 15 <laughs> feet from the top of the water. Thank you. <laughs> That's a funny one. <laughs> Hilarious picture. <laughs> if I bought this sandwich, I would have chucked it over, but <laughs> he just gave it to me, so. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and turn the camera back on. You feel me? I'm gonna fix that reel. Thank you. I think it's only one reel. Good fish. Gaff, gaff, gaff. Not even here. Oh, John, you got an eight pounder. Eight pounder? <laughs> He's messing with him. Easily <laughs> eight. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. No. Oh. 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 That's a good sea bass, though. Had me fooled. <laughs> Pro probably was. <laughs> it might be my best sea bass. No lie. Thank you. 
Thank you, sir. Uh, turn this way. Get the hook out of my finger. There we go. Perfect hook set if I do say so myself. Thank you. <laughs> we were just about to pull up from that spot. Tell you what, boy, I dropped a lot of fish this trip. Never catch fish so much. I know. But I don't trust my balance even up. All right, so this is John Sensei. He took the pool for today. Say something to the YouTubers. So I heard a few things, but you know what? The other day, I told him I was gonna take the money. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna get it next time, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, next time she's getting better. Okay, good evening you too. So, this wraps up my Rhode Island kind of season for the month of October. Um, and in the day, it went four. Four keepers, like 20 and a half was my biggest talk. Um, I could not get that over 21 slot. So hopefully next time, I'm getting closer, I'm getting better. I know when it gets a little colder, it's gonna be a lot better. You know, we can go into the deeper water, the bigger fish will be ready to play. So, you know, I but I caught a personal best sea bass. So 21 inch sea bass. Can't catch 21 inch dog, but I caught a 21 inch sea bass. So you saw John, I call him Sensei. That's his nickname. Cause you know, he's been helping me kind of learn how to jig. Um, he won the, the bigger pool. Another guy on the boat had a seven pounder that won the $10 pool, but all in all, great day. Um, slow pink. My body is hurting from two days back to back on rough seas. So I'm gonna go home and, and get some good sleep. But now to make this drive home. So it's been real. Thank you for tuning in as always. Until next time, God bless. <laughs>